happened was I had signed up for a promotion through Cox Communication for a special deal in the area that I was moving to. Um, basically, it was supposed to be around $170, $180 a month, and it was to include everything. So TV, phone, internet, um, all the channels. It's supposed to come with like a DVR package where you can record six things at a time. All Basically everything. Um, when I first went to get the package um, or get a quote for the package, I was receiving missed messages as far as the price was concerned. So I'd call in and a representative would tell me it was a different price each time to the point where I asked for a supervisor. That supervisor then clarified that, yes, I had my facts correct the first time and it was supposed to be the package for 170 So I went ahead and got that installed. Come move in day. Um, the installation guy was great. He put everything on in time. But as soon as I seen my first bill, which I think populated a couple of days after they installed it, it said I owed them $400. So only having two days of service, it doesn't make any sense. I have no idea. So when I looked at all the charges, they were saying that I was being double charged for a lot of services, that the discounts weren't gonna, that weren't being applied. So they were going to basically adjust it. And they said that that should happen in the next couple of days. So of course I wait a week and then my bill then says $236. And they're telling me that that was the correct amount for the package that I was supposed to receive. So $236 for a week of service. So <laughs> it made absolutely no sense. So I had to keep on calling back several times, being transferred to different departments. Um, basically, I had finally spoken to someone in a customer advocate department who then adjusted it correctly saying, okay, first off, your first month's bill should only be like $70 because it was only for half of a month, which is February. Um, and so I'm talking to this guy and it's probably like a couple of weeks after service. So, he adjusted it manually for me, and then he said that um, my bill should be the one seventy one eighty a month. And then he said he was going to also auto adjust it for the next month because he had to send down a request to some special team um, in order for them to get my code my code correct. So. Um, the next bill, he did what he said. He manually had it adjusted, so it did come out correct. So I paid both of my bills. So here it comes to April. Is this April? Well, this is May, but it comes to April, my April bill. All of a sudden, that one says I owe them $213. So, of course, I'm thinking, oh, my God, they didn't have this promotion corrected again. I have to go through all these hoops to get it corrected again. I finally get to the same department I was at before, looking for the gentleman who adjusted my bill before. And... I got somebody else, but he looked at my bill and told me that everything's correct, my promotion's coming off exactly how it should, and that my monthly bill is supposed to be $213. So, of course, I was upset because I started the service switching from Verizon because it was lower. So why would I want to go to some place where I'm paying more for less benefits and more of a headache? And he told me he'd have a supervisor call me back because obviously I wasn't taking no for an answer. Um, that supervisor called me back and told me that the best that he could do for me was get my bill down to $203. So basically it sounds sounded like fraud. So I did receive a call because I did leave um, a message on the Better Business Bureau. Um, they then talked to me, I think yesterday, I spoke with Mark Brown, um, who basically agreed with me. He said they were absolutely wrong. He was like, the promo code should have been there. This is what your bill should actually be, 180 a month, and he adjusted it. So I'm, of course, skeptical because I've had people adjust my bill before and put in a fix for this code, and it still keeps on coming back. Um, but he did reach out to me yesterday and tell me that he was going to have them fix my bill and told me what it should be. But yeah, um, I just wanted to, because when I was speaking with him, um, I was telling him, like, I spoke with several supervisors. They're telling me that this is all that they can do each time I talk to them. So if I never put one of those reviews on any website, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere. And that's just unfair for anyone else who's in my predicament, um, thinking that this is all it's going to be and nobody's going to do anything about it. Because I was literally about to cry when I talked to him yesterday because I was so frustrated that I had to go through all these hoops just to get my bill. Um, the way they told me it was supposed to be two months ago.